and Divos, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a haul, makeup haul, hair haul, international haul from all around the world. Just some different items that I thought I would share with you. I got like all these packages in one day and it happened to be all on my birthday. It wasn't planned like that, but this is when some of the items did come in. Also, I did get a couple on Saturday. And did you guys know that the mail is also delivering on Sundays? I'm not really sure about the state you're in, but here in Arizona, I did get a package on Sunday. And I was really surprised with that because the mailman actually came and rang my door and handed me the box. Didn't know what that was all about until I realized that they are starting their routes or routes on a Sunday. I thought everybody needed at least two days off. This is just basically an online haul where you can find all these items at. And the first one I'm going to start off with is one of my favorite makeup slash cosmetic brush lines, which is called Sedona Lace. I've been rocking with them for quite some years now, basically from my very first channel. So this was probably like about in back in 2010 when I've been using their makeup brushes. I have brushes from, yes, 2011 or 10 with Sedona Lace. And I still use them daily. I would highly recommend them they are so affordable but they are great dupes for any type of favorite brush that you have especially when it comes to mac brushes or any type of high-end brushes sedona lace has a great dupe for brushes they don't shed they don't break the, um, the durability of them is just like out of this world so with that being said i'm going to do a separate makeup look with this palette and also the brushes that i was sent i do have on the makeup from sedona lace today which is my eyeshadow look but this is the little Miss Grace eyeshadow palette. This is inspired by a YouTube guru who loves like certain colors. So this was inspired by like her favorite matte eyeshadow colors. I love the casing of it. It's kind of like a cheetah print. It is a cheetah print. Blue and pink. But inside the mirror is like a nice size so that way you can just do your makeup. You can probably do like your entire face with this makeup. But it also does come with a makeup brush which I was like happy about because I really do like this makeup brush right here. This is a really really nice makeup brush. It reminds me of the 217 by MAC and like their 224 brush but a duo, a duo brush. So this is the 29 brush and they all have numbers on their brushes so in case you ever want to purchase the same same thing you'll always have the number 12 colors in this eyeshadow palette which all of the colors are actually really really pigmented and I just think that this is a really pretty palette really pretty color and like I said this is a limited edition so if you're interested in it they are on low stock and you can go ahead and pick that up the other items that they sent me were some brushes really great crease and blending brushes this one I do believe is a contour brush because of the shape of it and it also reminds me of like my Sonia one but a lot softer than that as these I did apply these with my eyeshadow and this I also used to contour my nose as well they do have numbers on them as well I love the pink and black ones the best you can check out Sedona lace i'll post their information below my monthly yeah, favorite my boxes which is boxy charm kind of really disappointed me this month i will say there was one item in this package that i really am floored by but other than that i'm not really like a huge fan of this monthly boxy charm kit get loads of different makeup and cosmetics and things like that in it but for the c la, c la v box i'm not like a huge fan of for this month i did get some ncla nudes lip um nail polish of 16 dollars this is the color nude which i am wearing today and I really like the color because I'm not like really a big fan of nail polish so nudes really really suit me because that's basically like a neutral look for me been wearing this stuff for days is the beauty crop highlighting cream this is a price range of uh, $16 it's a really small tube but you don't need a lot of this I love it for my highlighting especially in my cheek nose and chin area because it gives off like this beautiful kind of rose goldish or light rose goldish color also pick this up for online or you can subscribe to boxycharm now the one thing I thought was cute but I really wasn't like a huge fan of is the click click lipstick so it reminds me a lot of an ink pen when you're just clicking it as for the color, I wasn't like a huge fan of this color because I do have a lot of lipsticks in the color. A um, Kabuki Abella Pierre Cosmetics Kabuki brush. This is a $30 Kabuki brush um, by Abella Pierre. 
really cute um for the price thirty dollars i really would expect kind of like a handle on it i do have like some kabuki brushes that have handles and they're less expensive less inexpensive than this price the brush is soft i will tell you that and i'll be using it but i just prefer the kabuki brushes that have like a handle to hold on to it just you're able to keep track of them they're not falling and tumbling all over the place the last item in here was the Elslor lifting mask full size and this is a $38 product so basically this is just for your face you can go ahead and use this renew your skin like once or twice a week the packaging is really sleek and cute it is kind of like a greenish color kind of reminds me of like a hair gel but when you when this is dry you can rinse this off with warm water so it's really a great facial cleanser but I own like a million facial cleansers, so I wasn't really into that. I did find these, and I will be throwing this in my giveaway to one of my lucky winners. This is actually the Epi Wand, and this is a wand that actually removes any type of hair on your body, like eyebrow hair or things like this. It kind of reminds me of threading of the eyebrows, but it is like a wand, and it does have like a spring here. Just watch out. <laughs> And what you want to do is actually bend it. You do have two little handles here. And you will actually bend it and kind of like roll it around in a circular motion onto the area where you'd want to remove the actual hair from your either your face or your body. I did use it on my eyebrow area and it actually does work. It doesn't pull them all the way out, but it does actually get the hair. So if your hairs are actually longer, this will really work and it's really easy to use. They're really convenient. You can throw these in your bag. I have something here from I'm a Beautiful Girl. This is a daily facial moisturizer and it does come in certain colors I do have the color bronze so and it does tell you on the sides what's best tint so as for this facial moisture I've used it a couple of times you do need to make sure you shake it well to me I like the packaging but the consistency is kind of oily to me a little bit color does match my skin it's a bronze color but I do think that it needs to be a little bit darker for bronze but this is a great facial moisturizer if you don't want to put loads of makeup on your face. I did use it under my foundation one time because I like to sometimes put layers. It just helps my makeup stay on a lot longer. I'll post the information for this company below. Some more Mary Kay makeup. I've been trying a lot of different things. If you see my last haul, you just see I purchased some items or got some items from Mary Kay, which was their matte wear timeless foundation. It was a little bit too light for me, so I decided to get a darker color. This this was in beige six it still is a little bit too light for me I'm more like in a darker color um, but I do like this for a concealer under my eye area because the Mary Kay foundation works marvelous like it's amazing it does last all day and it gives you full coverage so I use this under my eyes just to give a highlight and for my actual entire face I do use Mary Kay as well and I kind of mix the colors together to give me like the perfect tone that I want the setting powder which is their translucent loose powder by Mary Kay now I have like loads of different kinds of loose powders and translucent powders and a lot of them sometimes show up chalky on my skin so I can't really be honest and tell you how this one is going to work yet for me but I will use this in one of my makeup videos to come and let you know this is a shadow and liner and it's a dual all-in-one it's like a black liner on the bottom it's a really short liner it doesn't really a lot doesn't come with it but it's still cute it really ser it serves the purpose especially if if you're out and about and you don't want to carry everything and a shadow is just like a rose gold color which is a pretty color I would put this actually on my lips because it kind of goes on like a lipstick color stain but it's really another pretty. one that I've been trying out a lot is the Kayleen and this is their pure lust extreme matte tint kind of like lipstick lip gloss type of thing this isn't a color red I've been trying different color reds and I don't know when I'm gonna find the right one but hopefully it'll be sometime soon this is in a pretty pretty color um, the color is called expressionist number four and it's kind of like a fuchsia red to me but it's a pretty red. I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to um, ruin my lipstick that I have on. It goes on like a lip gloss but dries like a lipstick. So this is by Kayleen. And also I'll post the information below. You want to make sure you let that sit for a minute before you actually start to touch it is we are honest this month they did their day they did the damn thing with loads of stuff like this box was filled with loads of things and I was so impressed some of the items are repeats that I already have but I actually love to get them so I did get a whole bunch of luxury samples from 
um, cream of nature, milk mask, pudding curl, twisting custard, precious cold. I love like these kind of things. I love these little luxury samples. So one of my favorites, dark and lovely. There are their curling, um, curling defining glaze and coil moisturizer, and their super softening hair butter. Also luxury sample packages. I was so impressed when I got this, the cream of nature blonde ginger hair dye. I love box dyes. I've used them all the time on my units. So when I got this, I was like, wow, this is like exactly what I needed. It came right on time because I was just about to go out and buy some. So I will be using this because I only needed one particular box. This is the Cantu Body Softening Body Butter. This stuff is a must have. This is the Cocoa Butter Shea Butter Vitamin E. It's amazing on your skin. If you want something that is like soft and will give you moisture to your skin, then you have to give this a try. It also smells really good. I will tell you though, sometimes I notice that my skin still dries out with this, but I love it especially for the heels of my feet. I do think this is also a repeat, the Butterlicious Curls, which is a curl hydrating buttercream by Cream of Nature. It's really a great product, especially for those who are natural. But this is 21 Drops Essential Oil Therapy. It's supposed to make you like relax and fall asleep. Tangerine Spice, um, which is a organic shea butter. This is deodorant cream. So this is like a deodorant cream that you can put on underneath your pits. This is the hair butter moisturizer and softened by Amore Naturals that came here, which is like a big luxury sample. Okay, so the next one is a awesome monthly subscription. I showed them in my cheapskate haul because they really are inexpensive. The first month you get these for $9.99. The next is $13.99. And this are Volupti slash Splendies panties. So you do get a... A nice amount of undies each month. You need to make sure that you go a size up. They're always gift wrapped in something cute like I this. I went to Volupti's. That is their sister site of Splendies because I'm a voluptuous girl. Yes, ladies, I am voluptuous. Okay, I have enough bootylicious for myself not to give away, but I just need to go a size up. So I was sent uh, some panties for this month for a birthday gift and I cannot resist clean underwear and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So I do have these which are kind of like a kind of thong material. Not too thongish but enough thongish to where it's not going to be riding up too much. Okay? <laughs> but these are a blue color with aqua blue lace trimming. I really think these are cute. So here goes a red pair and I actually have a red bra that will match perfect with these. These are like the bikini ones and I really am in love with these because they're first of all first of all they're big enough for my size come in they're big enough for my size but they're also really sexy and they're full of lace so, so somebody's here yes you want to come so we'll finish this in a minute with my monthly panty subscription but we do have a special guest who wanted to make an appearance well I wanted him to make an appearance yes right yes and this don't smile at me yeah. Hi. You want to say hello to the ladies? So let them know that Grandma braided your hair because we don't have much to do but hang out together. No, look this way, Tink Tink. Not to the mirror. No, look right here. You want to say hi? Look. Look. You want to say hi? Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. So he does try to say hi and he's just... He's getting really big. Um, he has a lot of progress. He's trying to sit up now. And are you trying to walk yet? You trying to walk? Hello. Yes, he's trying to walk. And he is almost six months. You are. What are you? Next week. Next week. Yes. Yeah. See, I'm just a five and a half month old, five and three quarters baby. Yes. I'm sweet and I love my Gigi. But I wanted to show him off and bring him back to everyone so that way he can say hello, but he is getting big. Get Gigi kisses. Just got to bath check. You get your hair washed? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, cookies are right here. No, no. You have cookies? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Get, say bye. Say bye. You smell good. You do. You smell good. Yeah, what you got on? <laughs> Bye. So the last pair of undies from Volupti's is 
I'm not going to say these are grandma drawers, but they will cover your entire dairy air section. I like these kind of underwear for just certain times of the month, especially when you just need full coverage. So these are like full briefs. Um, they're not grandma panties because grandma's panties ain't never look this good. But they do have like that grandma look effect and it will cover your entire body. Um, not entire body, but your entire Darius. So Volupties and Splendies are a sister site together. And like I said, they're $9.99 for the first month. And then right after that, they're $13.99. get three a month. They wash well and they are really great quality. The last so, thing that I was sent by one of the websites, um, which is international i can't really remember the name off the bat but i will post the information from you got for you guys below and i will say i'm not really too happy with the stuff that i got um some of it is really low quality some of it i can be like okay this is cute so i did get this baseball fitted cap which i thought was really cute because it's a tribal print and i love things like that because what i can do is actually wear this over my wig if i had like a bad hair day but when I do wear hats, I'm not like a huge basketball fan. So I do think like hats like this are really cute. They're more feminine than anything. I do like that. It does have the snaps on the back and it is like of good quality. Shirt, I can't ever, never fit the clothes. Their clothes are so small um, that I would never fit them. But I did get this for my daughter, Nay, because she loves shirts like this. that have like the flowing bag. It's kind of like a peplum top, but a little bit lower on the back. This is in a size medium and it has like a really cool print. So I decided to get her this so she can use this for school in August when it comes up. She likes like dark, dark colors so that would be something cool for her. I did ask for three bags because their stuff is really cheap and inexpensive. But it's kind of really cheap. So I got this bag and it kind of reminded me of a fake Louis Vuitton knockoff. Um, I will tell you that it smelled horrible when I opened the packaging. Like it just smelled just like... I just can't describe it, but cheap shoes. It just smelled like a cheap bag. Um, the quality is not that great for this bag at all, and it's a horrible kind of like knockoff, if that's what it is. I didn't even notice the print. I just thought it was a black solid bag. I was not impressed with this purse. I thought it was just all blue because I loved the color when I seen it. Um, and I still like the color, but I'm not too big on the print. Now you can see the print is probably showing up now, but on the actual website, there was no print. You didn't see a print. These kind of remind me of fake Gucci slash fake coach symbols on the actual bag. They're like circles together, like fake coach, fake Gucci. I don't know. What disappointed me was the actual print on the bag was not clear at all or visible on the actual website. The bag that I got reminded me of my actual authentic coach bag. So I'm not against knockoffs, but if it looks like a knockoff, I'm not going to wear it. But it's reminded me a lot of my authentic coach bag that I have, which was actually a gift for me. And it's in a kind of like a tangerine color. And it looks very similar to this. Like very, very similar to this. Now this bag I do actually like. It does come with a shoulder strap inside. I'm not like a huge fan of the shoulder straps because if you have a handle, I don't like to use a handle and a shoulder strap at the same time. The color of this is like this kind of like reddish brownish wine color. It's really well made. So I'm glad that I did get this one. It was um, like a few different other colors. I'm not like a huge fan of any bags that have letters over it. So like those bags like with MK, Michael Kors all over it. I just hate those bags. I just have this pet peeve that have C's all over for coach. I just hate those bags too. Um, I just don't feel like I need to advertise for everybody. And I don't think you need to know what type of bag that I'm carrying. Other than that, that is my haul for today. I hope you guys had a great experience watching this video. All the information for all the online websites will be posted for you guys below. And yes, Tink Tink, uh, my grandson was really happy to come through and say hello to you ladies. So on that note, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.